We got a few objectives as far as vinyl records. And, and they're, they're awesome. awesome. They are so awesome because we've got Blue Oyster Cult Fun Fact. Blue Oyster Cult? Blue Oyster Cult. Whoa. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. What do you know about Blue Oyster Cult? Did you know they were not inducted into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame? Not? Yeah, not yet. But, but That's a shame. I know. But they've sold 24 million records, 7 million of them in the U.S. How have they not been inducted into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame? One, what? Yeah, 24 million records worldwide, 7 million in the U.S. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. So I don't understand. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. What else do you know about Blue Oyster Cult? Did you know that their original name was Soft White Underbelly? Soft White Underbelly? Yes, that was their original name. Hmm, that's an interesting yeah. name. And they were formed in 1967. 67? 1967 by Stony Brook University. Their manager, Sandy Perlman, he wanted um, an answer, an American answer, to Black Sabbath. Who's, who's in Blue Oyster Cult? Well, their most commercially successful lineup was Eric Bloom, Buck Dharma, um, Alan Lanier, and the Roussard brothers. Nice. Joe and, and did you know over their three-decade career, there was a total of 15 members? <laughs> three? They're like five decades now. Whoa. Yeah, isn't that cool? You got some records? Yep. So we've got Blue Oyster Cult. Now, this is their debut album, right? Uh-huh. But did you know that they made two albums for Elektra before <laughs> this was released? Really? And they were never released. They got two in the vaults. Two. There, there's two in the vaults. Oh, one of them was released. The second one was released by Rhino Records with one of those Rhino reissue things. Nice. Yeah, but they, they never, they were shelved. They never came out. Only one single came out on Electra. Whoa. Yeah. I did not know that. Did you know that? I did not. Whoa. And this is the first of their black and white albums. Now, a lot of their covers to me mm -hmm. are very alien related. Yes, yes. Very yes. much so. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. I think most records from that time period were. I wonder why. Yeah. <sighs> but the first three covers were all in black and white. And they were a really cool band because... Every album that they made in the beginning did better than the one before. Okay. So they were just set, they were getting more and more popular, selling more and more records. They had momentum. Mm -hmm. They had momentum on their side. And Sandy Perlman, their manager, he made them up stage names. Okay. Like Eric Bloom, his stage name was Jesse, and the only person that kept their stage name was Buck Dharma. What was his stage name? Buck Dharma. Oh, he's, he's, oh. His last name's really... Oh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, isn't that cool? He's the only one that kept his stage name. You know what my stage name should be? Christmas? What do you think my stage name should be? I was glad I was rooting for Christmas, too. <laughs> I'm going with Killer Kermit. Killer Kermit? Yeah. Because you like green? Yes. Um, green, la da 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 I'm kind of frog-like. <laughs> <laughs> so, On Your Feet or On Your Knees was their first live album. So they were live! They were live! And it was a double what? album. Okay. And did you know that they, they, they got their name from a poem written by Stan, Sandy Perlman? Okay. And then we've, oh, and this one went gold because All it right. was awesome. Very cool. And then this was their next album, Agents of Fortune. Which was their best-selling album. Ever? Very cool. Because this one went platinum. Now, have you listened to Blue Oyster Cult? I have. Yes. I have. I have. I have. I very much You have too? Yes. All right. So, so they were slowly, you know, then we got gold, then we got platinum. Then this was their next album, Spectre. Hit gold. Spectre? Yep, Spectre. Ghosts and Aliens. What? Spectre. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very so, cool. So this one only hit gold. So this was when they started to, you know, go down a little bit in their sales, which, you know, kind of wasn't the best thing ever. And this was They got a fighting. huge fan base. Mm -hmm. Huge yeah. fan base. Huge. And they are diehard. I had people, oh, Record Store Day? I had people calling me from California, Oregon, Washington, wanting me to mail them Blue Oyster Cult records. And it's like, but we don't do that. We don't know what, what at that time, we don't do that. That's right, that's right. Yep. We don't ship, nope. not our records. <sighs> so yeah, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Diehard fans. Do you feel like you learned a lot? I did learn a lot. Like, the Some Enchanted Evening mm -hmm. was another um, live album, and it was also supposed to be a double live album, and the record company said no. What? The record company said no. It doesn't sound like they had a lot of control. No, the record company was not like big diehard fans, which stinks. They were on Columbia. 
These guys just wanted to make the music, mm-hmm. and they made it very well. Mm-hmm. And they wouldn't be... What worried. do you know? They won one Grammy for Best High Rock Performance. Oh, they did. They won a Grammy. Yes, they did. They won a Grammy. Whoa. Yeah. How many Grammys you got? I don't got any. What? Maybe one day. I could buy them. <laughs> so Eric Bloom took over as their lead singer. Before that, he was their acoustic engineer. Okay. And on the first album, even though he was supposed to be the lead singer... They all sang lead except for Alan and Lanier. Now, I got I got to say, mm-hmm. yo, you got something first? Yeah, because this is funny because I'm taller. But the majority of their band members were around 5'6". So I'm taller than most of them. Fun fact! <laughs> Fun fact! Now. Fun fact, I'm taller than Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, I'm not. She is. Yeah. Wow. I'm short. I'm a midget. <laughs> well, next up mm-hmm. is my favorite Blue Oyster Cult album. Yeah. Is it? Yes. This is the one we played today in the store. Yes. This is my favorite one. And check out these children of the corn. Alien people. Yeah. Fire of unknown origins. Uh-huh. And, and since they're alien people and they're alien children, it makes you wonder, did they sue them like Pink Floyd got sued? Probably. <laughs> All right. You know anything else about Blue Oyster, Oyster Cult? Cult? Yes, I do. Did you know that in their albums, they did not include a lyrics sheet to make the experience more interesting? Good, you had to figure out what they were saying. Yes, and some of their songs were more fast, and you couldn't really understand it. So many people were like, huh? You know what the good part about doing that is? When you do that, it makes people listen more. Yeah, which is good. And more intensely, because you want to figure out exactly what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it makes you really think about what they're saying, and it makes you think about it even when they're not playing. Like Keisha Lorraine by the B-52s. I did not realize he was talking about his dog, which was a poodle. (laughs) Okay. Until literally yesterday. Ah. <laughs> she's two inches tall and she's green and oh my gosh. Okay, so Blue Oyster Cult was when Sony bought CBS and Columbia. Mm-hmm. They dropped Blue Oyster Cult. They were too hard rocking they for them. They were too hard rocking for them back in the 80s. Yeah. Yep. All right, all right. I, th- I think we did pretty good with our yeah. Blue Oyster Cult fun facts. What do you ladies think? Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun. I love Blue Oyster Cult. Me too. It was, it was really great learning all this stuff and, you know... I really enjoyed it. All right, all right. What else we got in this box? We've got more awesome vinyl records. Black Sabbath. All right. Another Black Sabbath. Another Black Sabbath. And then we've got another Black Sabbath, and this one is an import from the UK. What? Mm Mm-hmm. Chips. Has Iron Man on it. Yeah. Love that song. Dun, 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 dun. And this one is also an import from the Netherlands. Ah, it's because it says NIMS. Mm Mm-hmm. Very cool. Oh, and Black Sabbath. And And Live Live! And this one's an import, too. Smuggling. And then we've got SF Sorrow, The Pretty Things. Now, remember when we talked about The Who? This was the first actual rock opera. It is 1969 psych rock. And it is mega freaking rare. Mega, mega rare. And there's no corners, so you know I don't like that. That's why there's plastic. It's the, die, it's the die cut. Yeah. So I was really excited. It's like, of course now, of course now. I couldn't show it with The Who. <sighs> You'd be surprised what I got in my back room. Led Zeppelin. And we got another Led Zeppelin, and another Led Zeppelin, and one more Led Zeppelin. And this one is a D variation. And I was looking at it, and I was like, I swear that's a D. And I was right. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, All right. Cold. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. Ooh, and then we've got Drip Tank. What the heck is a Drip Tank? The drip Tank is punk. Septic Tank? Drip Tank. Oh, it's good. punk. Septic? I'm good. Okay. Punk? Punk. Okay. And, and there's a green cover and a red cover, and the green cover is very limited. Ah, So I was okay. pretty excited. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I yeah. got baby lemonade. I know. I see you got baby lemonade. Baby shark. <laughs> <laughs> baby shark. Do, 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 do. No? I hear no. that sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, I got another six picture disc, limited edition. It don't got the number. Of course it don't. It's like, man, it's limited probably to 80 so million. high. They were like, nope. Pro <laughs> Call Harem is an import. Elvis. The Police. Roxanne. You Five. get that note, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Five hand rule is an import. Socratic is colored. Rock music, 2012. Oh, uh-huh. and the matches. Okay, okay. Atlantis. What? You found the city of freaking gold? I know. Wow. It's what? It's what? city under the sea, and it's crap rock. It's, it's the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, <laughs> shit. I thought it was the city of gold, no, man. No, no. What's That's the city of gold, then? I can't. They t- it's a, uh, it's El Dorado. El Dorado. 
Eldorado. That sounds like a western. El Dorado. Yeah, that's that's that was it. Thing. Right? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Never mind. You don't oh. want to hear it. All right, Clapton, that is live. He's live. live. We got Beach Boys. John, John Lennon, Lennon. Live, live. David Bowie. Let's dance. No. All right. <laughs> the Blast. The Blazies. Mm -hmm. David Lee Roth. Roaring Boys. Nick Lowe. Urban Blight. This one's also colored. Nope, that one's not it. <laughs> Nazareth, <laughs> Ratsam and Naz. All right. <laughs> UK, Night of <laughs> Right, we gotta get through Erasure, this thing, man. We're over 10 minutes drums. already. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, B Vamp, ELO, more ELO, Grand Funk. The Beatles Originals. <laughs> Angel City, and another one, and one more. Frank Valley, Four Seasons. The, the Kinks. Kinks. The Kinks. The Kinks. <laughs> Keith Carradine. Peaches. 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 Do you know that that is an awesome compilation record? Is it? Yes. Yes, yes got to get Uh huh. Thomas Dolby. Hudson Brothers and Hudson Brothers. I never even heard of the freaking Hudson Brothers. I know. That three. I know. Well, you got to open that one up. Yeah. That's cool. Look, it's like a collage. That's. I don't know the Hudson Brothers at all. What you? There was a there was a naked lady. So London and France and yes, underpants. Yes. Yes. And no underpants. Yes, yes. So that's why I was like, oh gosh, let's close that. Star Castle, Jason the Scorchers is an import. Rare Earth with Grand Funk. Now you thought this one would be uh, pretty rare. Yeah, I thought it would be pretty rare because one side is Rare Earth and the other side's Grand Funk. But no, it's not. It's not rare. I was a little let's upset. Let's see what's on this thing. Do the locomotion with me. Okay. Okay. Steve Miller Band. She's inviting. That's invitations, Asia. guys. Come Asia. on in. More Asia. <laughs> Leon Russell. Bruce Springsteen. The Bat Mastersons, Go Go's, Ario Speedwagon, Jules Baptiste, John Lee Hooker. John Lee freaking Hooker John in the Hooker. back of the box. Yeah, and look, it was a U.S. import to somewhere. That's ah, cool. Ah, okay. Isn't that cool? And then they smuggled it back? Yeah, so they smuggled it back, That's but it was a U.S. import to somewhere. I thought that was really awesome. That is. Rocket 88, look, Jack Bruce. All right. Uh, Joey Beltram, it's industrial trance. This one's industrial. Keith what? Blanc. Industrial. What is that? Clang, clang? Yeah, yeah. We got to beat something. Industrial. We got to go like. See, now I'm industrial. I'm going to put a hole in the counter. Uh, yeah. I just cleaned it. I'm uh, good. Electric light in blue. Tommy. Any of the cruisers? Any of the cruisers? Oh, my God. Is any of the cruisers? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> you know, nuts, Fist. Dean Martin. Uh, cool and the Gang. Big City. Merle Haggard. Yeah. <laughs> Evangeline M. U. Harris. Cheech and Chong. I got what? Chong. Wait a minute. Cheech and Chong. I got what? Cheech and Chong. What? I got Cheech and Chong. Yeah? Boom. You smoking it? No. Smoking in the boys' room? No. And I go smoking in the girls' room. Oh, check this out. Uh huh. I can't even afford the weed to put in there. That's a lot of freaking weed. I know. How much do you think it was way back when? Back then, you grew it yourself. Now they'll infrared me. Come, FBI will come, lock me up, ATF, so, Alibaba, you know, all them guys. So, what? we got two gold records here. All right. So I was thinking we could do a poll. Okay, you want to do a poll on those? Yep, on Blue Oyster Cult. All right, all right. I'm Pick digging mine. that. No. Who you got? Blue Oyster Cult. Huh? Blue Oyster. You got that one. Spectre. I got the right and one. you got? On your feet. That on one. Your knees. All right, all right. So now you gotta leave us a comment. Let us know if you're gonna work in this box. This is some really awesome stuff. You no. Yes. Where are you going? I'm running away. I'm gonna show them nothing but that. Bullet for my Valentine. I love that. You gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up, because everybody likes thumbs up. Because when you do good, you get good. And then you have to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ring, Ring that, that bell. bell, ding, ding, ding. Because we do a video likes every night. We'll see you tomorrow. Buy a T-shirt. But I still got stuff to show off. Man, that was brutal. I know, but you were already over 10 minutes. We're all like, oh my gosh, we got a boat like, right boom. here. I got this import from the UK, U2. Now this one is super mega rare if you'd like to pull it out and show them the color. And while she's doing that one, you can Ooh, show them this one? color. It's all yellow. Ooh. Super rare. Super rare. And then yours. It's is, yellow. Is yes. Yellow? And then this one's colored. And then, and then I got a Sex Pistols. Is this one colored? No. 
and I got a clash, and then you got to flip the side. There you go. It's a split. Oh, and yours is orange. Orange. All right, all right. And then I got this crazy looking clown dude. And this is experimental synth pop. Yeah, from 81. Very cool. All right, all right. Now, this isn't the screw up one, and you can't tell from that side, but the other side you can. Okay. All right, all right. Now, I like to do something for the people that actually watch this long. Okay. Wouldn't you like to do something for the people that actually watch this thing for like 15, 16 minutes? Sure. Why don't we do like crazy hat day tomorrow? Okay. If you wear a crazy hat, you get 50% off all the used. Yeah, that's a great idea. Can crazy you make hat? your own hat? You can make your own hat. Yes. You can, you can put some duct tape on it. And you, I had somebody come and spin around t-shirt with duct tape. Yes. So you can have like duct tape going all crazy. Or feathers. 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 Like I'm going to wear a crazy hat. I hope I see you in a crazy hat. And we ain't telling nobody nothing. Nope. Just nope. you guys. That's it. I hope you watch to the end. So whoever actually watched this sucker for 16 minutes, they can get 50% off all the used tomorrow. What do you think? That's, that's a great good. idea. Because, you know, the longer videos don't get that many views no, all the way to no, the end. No, <sighs> but you got to wear a crazy hat and then you got to tell us. Yep. So in case your hat's not crazy enough for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you come in wearing a baseball cap, I, I don't know if I'm going to realize you're wearing a crazy hat. Now, if you tie-dye that crazy hat. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. You know, and, and bedazzle it. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And if you don't got the bedazzle beads, I understand. You just take sprinkles and glue them on. True. Okay. That's it. You know, go to ice cream shops that are all closing down now because, you know, yeah. summer's yeah. over. How much Everything's pumpkin now. Yeah. yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin poop. Goodbye.